Welcome to this video on creating a graphical user interface in Python. My name's Andy Wicks and in this video we'll be creating the simplest possible windowed application you can create. There are several packages you could import into Python to help you create a graphical user interface. We'll be using TKinter. It's well established and it has equivalents in several other programming languages. Therefore, the first line of code that you need is to import TKinter into your program. You don't need to go through settings or pip install because it's included as part of the Python setup. The window is often called root, but sometimes it's called window. It can be called anything you like. But sticking to conventional names is a good idea because it helps other programmers to understand your code. You need two commands to create a window. So in this case I'm going to use root as the name of the window and I'm going to say root equals tk.tk. That creates the window, but the window will close immediately you do that, unless you have root.mainloop. And what that does is it keeps the window open until you hit the quit command. All other commands go in between these two commands. Anything that goes on a screen is called a widget. And widgets can be anything. They can be buttons, labels, entry boxes, menu bars and so on. Adding a widget is a two-step process. First you have to create it and then you have to add it to the window. We're going to add two widgets, a label and a button. And we do that by creating, first of all, the label. So LBL equals TK.label, followed by some options, which I'll come back to in just a moment. But having created the label, we then have to put it on the screen. And that's what the pack command does. It says, put it in the root window. Now let's go back to those options. We have to say where we want this label to go. As you'll see in later videos, you can put them in several different places. But we want this one to go on the window that we've just created. So we say root. That's where we want it to go. And then we say text equals and whatever we want the text to equal. In this case, we've got a piece of text that will go over two lines because there's this slash n in the middle. So what we'll get is GUI stands for graphical on one line and user interface. This is a GUI on the second line. The second widget we're going to add is a button. We give it a name, BTN. We say tk.bbutton equals and then we can say what the options are. Again I'll come back to the, those options in just a moment. But we also need to pack that button onto the form and that's why we have root and then we can say what we want the text of this button to be. So in this case the text of the button is going to be exit. Then we tell it which colours we want. The foreground is going to be red the background is going to be dark grey. I'm not a colour conscious person and you'll come up with far better colours. But then this next line is important. It says what we want to happen when this button is clicked. In this case we're going to use the built-in quit command and that's the one that closes the window. But we could have other functions in there. We could write our own function for what we want to happen when a button is clicked. So let's have a go at running this code. Here we have our window. And as you can see, it's made itself the size of the largest item on the window. We can make this window a bit bigger in the way that we normally can with windows. And as you can see, the title is the simplest GUI. We've got our two lines of code and we've got our exit button. In this way, we've created a windowed application. It's not very exciting and it's not very good, but we're on our way. And as an even better exercise, if we click exit, the program finishes.